Hey, it's Steve from MoneySmartFamily.com, and today we are cutting up a pineapple. Real simple to do, uh, just a few things you need. We're going to show you how we freeze the pineapple, so we've got a tray. Uh, you could also put it in a bowl when you're done cutting it. You'll need a cutting board and two knives, a big carving knife and a little paring knife. First step is to cut the top off, and we cut about a half an inch or maybe maybe a quarter inch below the top. We're going to cut a little more because we've got a bad spot. And put it in your compost bucket. Then you cut the bottom off and you do the same thing. Cut about half an inch and maybe a little more. And it's always good to have a sharp knife to do this. So that's step one, cut top and bottom. Step two is you cut the sides. And we're going to cut Oh, maybe a quarter inch, maybe three-eighths of an inch. I don't want to waste much because this pineapple is so good. Oh, you can smell how ripe it is. It's just beautiful. So we're going around. All that goes in the compost. And so we're left with some pretty clean sides. We're just going to clean up couple of spots. And the next thing you got to do is you got to take the core out. The core is really tough and doesn't taste very good and hard to chew. So what we do then is we cut the pineapple in half right down the middle and then cut it in quarters. Now if you want to make pineapple rings you would just start slicing um, down the pineapple before you quarter it. Okay. Now some people say you can cut the core out by going like this. And that's pretty good. And actually, I like eating the core. It's delicious. But I can't see, when I cut it at an angle like that, I can't see if I get enough of it out. So I like to trim it standing up. So stand it up. And cut about that much off. Just cut through it to keep the sweet meat in the middle. And the last step, well, actually, no, the second to last step, is I cut it in wedges like this, and then I cut it again. And this is how you get little triangular, almost triangular pieces, and cut them about. Oh, a little, a little less than a half an inch thick. Now, if you're going to put them in a fruit salad or something like that, then you can just put them in a bowl. But we're going to take these today and we're going to freeze them. And so what we do is we lay them out on a tray, pop it into the freezer, and then once it's frozen, we put it in a Ziploc bag. And this stuff will stay in the freezer and be delicious and be able to be used in fruit salad or breakfast or baking. Um, for months because pineapples do tend to ferment pretty quickly if you keep them in your refrigerator for more than three or four days once you've cut them up. See so it cuts into nice little, nice little triangles. You can take them once they're frozen and you can put them in a blender for a smoothie. So we throw the tray into the freezer, leave it in overnight, scoop it up with a spatula, put it into a Ziploc bag, and then we can use it whenever we want. Hey, if you like this video about how to cut up a pineapple, give us a like or subscribe to our channel or put on a notification so you get notified every time we put up a new video. Or go to our website, moneysmartfamily.com for more time, sanity, and money-saving ideas.